Alright. Ow. You coming? Yes, I'm coming. Alright. I need, I actually need help, like I'm a little scared. And why we always feel the need we have to make the intro interesting? Uh... Do dumb shit like this, yeah. like this wasn't even cool or funny. It was just dumb. But anyway. Okay. Let's just get into the topic of the video. Alright, so the topic of this video is how do you escape the 9 to 5? Because for me, really, so if there's one point of this YouTube channel, it's to people, it's to help people escape the 9, nine to 5. When I see people achieve that, it's like the most amazing thing in the world. Uh huh. You know what so, I mean? So, yes. Yes, absolutely. So that is what this video is about. So, but I just wanted to kind of expand on it and say it's more than just escaping the nine to five. It's just escaping that whole, it's almost like a mindset that people live in, that there's a bunch of rules on your life. Mm -hmm. These unwritten rules. For example, you can't have cake for breakfast. The, the like, stupidest rule people, <coughs> people who live inside of this nine to five matrix, whatever the fuck you want to call it, cage, think things like that. Like, mm -hmm. why can't you? Oh. Just because. This is obviously just a metaphor or an example. Yeah. You know? No, no. Well, that's this is literal as well. Yeah, uh, literal as well. Yeah, like like well, our the parents, grand scheme of like our parents. Like, yeah. I'll eat random shit, dumb shit for breakfast, pizza and ice cream. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't do that. Oh, but 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 why? Like, oh, you just you eat that for dinner and dessert. Oh, but why? Mm -hmm. And they don't have a fucking reason other than that's what they and say. And that just applies to whole life when it comes to jobs, yeah. when it comes to school. No, you can do whatever when it comes the to fuck you living. want. There aren't these stupid rules. People think they have to live it's in, all in your the head. hometown they were born in, yeah. shit like that. Yeah. But anyway, the point of the video, we Man. boiled it down to four steps, I, is how to escape the nine to five. Yes. Right? Four steps. Four yes. steps. So the first step. Oh wait, wait, first thing I want to say as well, mm -hmm. is we, this topic, we are coming from a place of experience and mm -hmm. we do have credibility with this. We have achieved this. We have achieved escaping the nine to five and getting out of this. Like we still have so much work to do in the grand scheme of things because we have a lot of things we want to do but this particularly we've already done and we're never ever ever going back mm -hmm. like it's a shift in the mind and as well in your physical life as well like, everything we talk about is from a place of experience yeah. like the four steps that, that we're going to talk these about these were our four steps that's like we went through all of it you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. so yeah. so the first step let's just get into the first step right mm -hmm. is to get your motherfucking mindset right so let's we broke it down to a few things so I wanted to what say that really consistent I need to say one thing about mindset big. I need to say something about mindset mm -hmm. I've noticed this there is like this small cult of people on the internet that, that are mindset convinced is that mindset uh, is stupid is just a thing that gurus try to sell you on to make money that is just something ridiculous that is just motivation talk that doesn't actually serve any purpose mm -hmm. Uh, but they're also the ones that are not successful at all. They're people that haven't achieved anything and then they talk shit about, oh, mindset talk. All you talk about is mindset. But no, that is the fucking foundation of this. Mm -hmm. They're just so uneducated, so unaware, mm -hmm. so living inside of a box that they think things like that. Yeah. They've not been red filled. Mm -hmm. But <sighs> mindset totally is the first step. Yeah. And it's a few things. I've broken down this mindset thing into three specific mindset things that mm -hmm. I think is important. Mm -hmm. So can I go through them? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So number one. So this is for this the exact purpose of escaping the nine to five, escaping the whatever the fuck you want to call it. Name it your own thing. Yeah. Uh, first thing is belief in the system and the fact that it's possible. Like if you don't believe that you can, then you never will. So that's the first thing. Belief in the system itself that it is possible to achieve. <laughs> number two is belief in yourself that you can achieve it. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. and people always say that like you have to believe that you can do it, but telling yourself over and over it honestly is it's not fucking enough. useless. It's it has to be genuine. It has to be real confidence. No, like you truly, truly believe mm -hmm. that you're gonna be successful at it, whatever it is. Yeah, you know. So how do you like accomplish that? How do you get that? Um, you know, this is something we learned like or we've talked about a lot in the last week. Is we didn't realize it that this is what helped but, us. Yeah, confidence. yeah, and, but then someone told us. I was like. Oh yeah, that, that did it. apply to my life. Uh -huh. And that is having quote rain. unquote micro wins, right? Who cares? Let's just keep rolling. It's just for the camera and shit. What? Oh, you can do that? Yeah. You can just move a camera out of the rain? Yeah. Who cares if the lighting's not how, 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 Okay. I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, you did. That was so, an easy solve. Yeah. My mindset was stopping me. Exactly. <laughs> So, well, what the fuck was Emil saying? You're talking the micro wins. The micro wins. Yeah. So, how do we apply this to our life? When we were going to college, I was like a fucking loser. And I didn't believe in myself at all. We had set goals uh, in college to get first just B grades, right? That's all I wanted. And then once you achieve that, like, holy shit, I actually achieved my goals. That gives you real, real confidence. Now, if you haven't tried before, 
you should try it, right? Mm -hmm. If you have tried it, then you'll know what I mean. But if you achieve enough of these bracket wins, like you really start to um, start to have like that real genuine confidence. And that eventually for us grew to our goal was to have a 4.0 GPA in college. Mm -hmm. And then we achieved that, which everyone said was fucking impossible. Mm -hmm. And then once we achieved that, I literally, because everyone said it was impossible, there's no way. Mm -hmm. And then when we did it, I was like, since then, I like thought anything was possible. Anything. Yeah, literally, I really, truly think that. Yeah, right. So the mindset thing, belief that it's possible. Number two, belief that like, and confidence in yourself that you can actually do it. Mm -hmm. And I'm just kind of speaking generalities, but it is just like breaking out of the nine to five or whatever the mm -hmm. fuck you want it to be to apply to yourself. Mm -hmm. And then number three is I don't remember, so I'm gonna look on this outline that we wrote. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And then number three, mindset is just being able to not listen to what everyone else says. Because yeah. if you listen to what everyone else says, it's gonna completely flip flop upside down. It's not gonna work because everyone, every single person is gonna tell you, one, no, it's not possible and there's no other way than going to college and You're and a fucking a idiot, job. you're stupid, what the fuck are you doing, and number, everyone. And number two, even if there was a way, you can't do it. Mm -hmm. It's only lucky millionaires who have a lot of money that can do it, you certainly can't. Mm -hmm. That's what everyone's gonna tell you. There's almost like no ex no exceptions that everyone is gonna hear that. And it's so crazy for me that, that that parents will say that to the kids, right? Fucking parents, we have the best but parents, it, and still. Yeah, it, yeah, right. It's not because they don't care or something. They just truly, truly it's believe that. It's their generation. That. They truly believe that, and they, they genuinely didn't believe there was another way out. They genuinely didn't believe you could do it. And then we showed them differently, right? So yeah, man, you have to. You cannot fucking listen to all those people. Mm -hmm. And um, one other thing, I think I saw yeah. you wrote this down is like. Listen to podcasts that will just drill this shit in your right. mind, how, and that's what we did when uh, I used to I used to deliver Chinese food as my job, as my part time job, and I would just put on podcasts, uh, not like motivational shit, but online business related really things. Now I need to get out of the rain. It's like properly raining. We're both in very toxic moods right now, so like yeah. it's, it's it's tough. I really want to talk, but I'm being good. You notice how I raise my hand when yes. I want to say something? Yes, yes, yes. So as I was saying, I'll just listen to podcasts in particular, dude. But just what you're about to say, it's about how to actually apply the shit we said. Because uh -huh. so many people can make videos and talk about shit, but how do you actually apply it? This is how. When you're driving, go download, go, go download get a podcast. Rasmus. And it, uh, I can't think of the best podcast right now, but I'll put it in the description, my favorite podcast that you should listen to. To just get the shit in your fucking mind, right? Stephen James? For one, that's one. That, that was, that's what that was I always one for us. I don't listen to him anymore. Yeah, but he got us started in yeah. this shit. So... Yeah, before you get started on like building a business, like, oh, I know I want to escape the nine to five. Oh, let me just go into building a business. No, you got to get have the right mindset. 100% without a doubt. Mm -hmm. That's the fucking first step. Yeah. So you give someone the fucking plan and the how to for everything. If they don't have the right mindset, it's fucking useless. Yeah, absolutely useless. Yeah, absolutely so, fucking useless. And then, right, so that, that's step one. Okay. But someone else who could get the wrong blueprint to how to build a business and get out, but they have the right mindset they will have success they find a fucking way which is fucking real like they'll learn from their mistakes and all that shit let's move on to step number two right, like this. so step number two which we talk a lot is uh Fuck. not what people want to hear because it's not anything crazy but it's real it's just real and we, we tell you the this. real shit and we went through this bro no i just want to like i want to tell people like we tell you the real shit uh -huh. not what's gonna sell you on something not what people want to hear but mm -hmm. the real shit like the first thing getting in mind like oh that's boring can we just skip that nope that's step number one yeah step number two is yeah. this yes yeah, so which sucks even so more. step one and two actually are going to be happening at the same time right uh and that is to literally get a job make as like get as many hours as you can make as much as you can and save as Stack much money the as you paper. can literally yeah. through a job stop wasting money on booze on pot uh, all, all that other pointless bullshit. I mean, smoke your friend's weed, not your own. Sure, if you still want to get high, you can smoke your friend's <laughs> weed. But yeah, man. Is there more to say on that one? No, that's no, just what it is. I, it's, 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 no, we don't, we don't need to talk no, about every point for 10 minutes. That no is what it is. On that. You got to get a job and save money. Oh. If you're not willing to give up the fun weekends and oh, okay, that's put in the work, then, well, then you're not made for this. Right. No, right? You, ha you have to humble yourself and be able to be humble enough to be like, yes, I'm not ready to go into this i'm not ready to do this and that i have to get a job mm -hmm. i have to just work hours do a shitty minimum wage it's a Which, right yeah it's gonna make you feel worthless it's that's a right of passage you are, it's a right of passage right of you passage. have to go through it yeah right um we so, did this we could we should apply our own situations to all of this 100 percent. so at this point this is when we were both working delivering chinese food like three times a week and uh listening to podcasts get our mindset right just just driving 
delivering Chinese, he'd totally just be like, fuck yeah, yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah, fuck you, fuck you. I was just getting in it. And then I was also working as like a front desk secretary type bitch ass person at yeah. a physical therapy office. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then we were going to college all at the same time and getting 4.0 GPAs because that's where we put all our energy into. Mm -hmm. Moving and that, on. And that's where the self-belief came from. I think it's all coming yeah. 360 now. Yeah. So yeah, the third one, the third step to like, skip the 9 to 5. What, what is it? Let me look. Is that you need that online business yeah. that is going to create that life for you. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was just going to say, you have the right mindset. You have the money. To you need money. You're you fucking money to ready invest. now. Yeah. You're yeah. fucking ready. But yep. you need those That's when you're first. ready. That's when you're fucking ready. You that's need what those you just said, first. but I'm emphasizing it again by saying yeah. it again. Yeah, because I like, oh wow, wow, that just clicked for me. Yeah. That's when you're fucking ready. We mindset the mindset and the money. And the capital. Uh-huh. Capital sounds more legit. Yeah. But money. And I'm money. not here to sell you my shit and start buying my shit because it's the best way to make money online. There's a hundred different ways you get started. There's literally a hundred. I sincerely believe publishing is the best, and we're about to make another video explaining why it's the best. Mm -hmm. Start a dropshipping business, mm -hmm. Amazon FBA. Start whatever. Blog. The point. The point of this video is not the literal how-to business part of it, right? It's everything else. So understand the process. So right? yeah, yeah. What we always say, we always tell people like, or if, if they ask like, I want to do what you do. I wanna. I don't want to work my job. I want to travel. I want to do this and that. I want to live on my own terms. Uh, like how do I get started? So the mindset thing, okay, mm -hmm. you need money. Then the online business thing, and we always tell people that publishing is the one that we generally believe you should start. And that that's what we talk about all the time. Yeah, like not trying to sell you shit. I not, just really believe it's the just, best way. Yeah, like we've tried the other shits. It's the fucking best one of them all. Mm -hmm. But it's so small and no one knows about it. So, I mean, if you want to get started, you don't know anything about it, you can download our free mini course. Yeah. Which, I mean, it's free, so. Actually, don't. Don't, don't even do don't, that. Don't do it. Don't even do that. Yeah, I don't want you to. Yeah. Don't. Because I don't want shit from you. Yeah. Okay. That's I'm not just, the point of this video. No, I'm just I'll, trying I'll to help. Just, just trying to help yeah. people. But yeah. Get that online business. Get the cash flow. Because mm -hmm. to like live on your own terms, you need to be able to quit your job. And to be able to quit your job, you need money to survive. Mm -hmm. And then, so you need to make your own money. So you need to make full-time income. Not necessarily full-time income. Should we put a number in it? Like at least 3000 yeah, a month. Yeah, I think $3,000 a month. But the thing is what you can do, like 3000 a month is not a lot. Like, oh, that's not enough to live off of in America. I would agree. Mm -hmm. That's why you shouldn't live in America. Oh, I mean, I love America. That's yeah. why you can move to somewhere like Southeast Asia. Where and you live on $1,000 a month. Oh, you, you live solid on 1000 a month. You could definitely do Not it. Not by our standards. Yeah. Like, to me, I still think it's... At that point, if you could build an online business that makes you $3,000 a month, and with publishing, do you know how fucking common that is? Yeah. Do you know how many people I know that have done that? Yeah, it's so that? easy. Now, as much as it is, like, uh, how uncommon it is for someone to actually have an online business and travel, like, it's so uncommon. Mm -hmm. But within publishing, I know so many people that do it. Yeah. You know? Uh, yeah. So, again, back to the moving somewhere. You can move to Chiang Mai, Thailand, where the cost of living per month, on average, is, like... 800 900 bucks mm -hmm. and, and you're and not, you can live for you're not, that's you're not average. penny pension you're not penny pension no you're just living a normal life you can live in like a studio apartment for like two two hundred dollars a month yep how silly is that two hundred dollars a month yeah there you could get away like pretty fucking quickly three dollar meals save up 10k and you could live in thailand for a year mm -hmm. and then build your business at the same time yeah but most of the money that's should go into fucking grind mode yeah most of the money should go into the business though which is not in a thai bot currency mm -hmm. sadly but Okay, and the final step, the final step, we kind of talked about a little bit. We've, we've been through steps one, two, and three. What's step number four? Quit your fucking job. Quit your job and do whatever the fuck you want because you made it. Yeah. You made it for now. A lot of people make it and uh, shit, I think m most people, I think most people quit their job. They think... They think they think like they got it for good. Yeah, hey, and that's us. And we don't fucking know. We don't know. We don't know anything that happened. We don't, but we have a pretty good foundation at yeah. this point. I'm just saying you never fucking no, know. No, we don't know. It could still happen. Highly unlikely, let's be honest. But it could happen if something tragic goes down. Yeah, that's not the important thing. Don't think that you, like, you've made it and you're good now. Mm -hmm. No, that's when things might get extra stressful. Because mm -hmm. shit goes down on this side. What I, was, what I was saying was that I think most people end up having to go back to a job. Like over yeah. 50%. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I over the course so. of your life. Yeah, yeah. I have no over numbers. Over the course of your whole life? Yeah. Yeah. I mean... I, I can't think of many people that have a lifelong online business. Yeah. Well, of course, the internet hasn't even been there for that long. <laughs> for anyone's so whole hasn't life. hasn't been able to do that. Yeah, so that's but, why. Uh, but dudes, uh, it's not even that complicated. It's really, 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 really not. It's, 
it is hard and complicated if you don't take each step. Like, mm -hmm. let's... Right, if, if you're missing any of these steps, you're fucked. If you don't have the mindset, none of this works. Oh, yeah. N uh -huh. You're fucked. If you don't take a job and save up money, also you're fucked. And then you need the business, and then you need to actually quit and do whatever you want. Otherwise, you didn't quit and do whatever you want. Have we, have we been redundant in this video? Yeah, I think we have. But it's to but stress, it's to it's to stress a the point. It's to really right. prove a point. Oh, another thing I want to say. Well, just we want to talk about how like we really don't want to make more publishing tutorials. Uh-huh. Yeah, shit like no, that. we've literally covered everything there is to say about There's, publishing. There is not much If you, you have more say. questions about publishing, it's probably some minor shit that does not need a, a video about it. I'm, I'm gonna call someone out right now. I mean, we can be like a mecca and just make the same videos over and over again. Oh, yeah. That's what he does now. I don't want no to do talk about. I don't want to do I don't want to do that. I'm not making another how to make the best titles video. How to make the best cover. We've like everything you need is in our 100 videos. We've covered everything this time about publishing. If you want more publishing videos, first of all, it's weird. You don't need more publishing videos. No. And join the course if we're, you We're really going to make them every once in a while when we find something that's like legitimate that we mm. want to share like the fiction thing the fiction, fiction thing besides that dude there's so much other business stuff that i also would rather prefer to talk about yeah so first of all talk the about back other business. Building a business yes that but also just talking about the bigger picture mm -hmm. which is the fucking epic life that is life itself man can we just look at where we like we're about to end the video what this looks like <laughs> it's raining like a mo it's raining like a mo but look at oh, this. this video's not that long how long how long do you think uh like 20 Five minutes? Only 20. Okay. So that's good. So follow me. Let's go to the pool. Okay, just to see uh, how cool the non-95 life is. Yes, basically. Okay, I don't Look feel at good. this shit. Right. We're in the Balinese jungle. Look at that river. Look at the raging river. What? 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 I don't like this. No, no. This that's what I'm saying. It's like a, it's a three inch ledge. Let's go back in this way. Fuck. Okay. My bedroom. We have a maid who makes our bed every morning. Uh, I just want to show that. Epic bathroom. bathroom. All right, let's end the video in here. Uh, Damn, the the fucking green looks amazing on this camera. Uh -huh. Let's do a B-roll, a B-roll, okay. where I snap my finger and then it goes B-roll with music in the background. Okay, okay, ready? Alright dudes and dudettes, that's the end of the video. I think we need a secret emoji of the video. Not secret, we, magic emoji. It's not a damn secret, it's uh, a magic emoji magic though. Emoji. And I already know what it's gonna be. It's a bathtub it's emoji. It's a damn bathtub emoji. Bathtub emoji. Bathtub emoji. Bathtub emoji. Uh, I don't have any more to say. We talked enough. Yep. Alright, see you in the next video. What did you think of the video? So now is the time to comment. We always have people watching all the way to the end. What did you think of this video? Yeah, no, that's it. Okay, okay. see ya.